My husband, who's a dermatologist, washes his whole body with the shampoo that he uses. So, you know, go figure. You guys, and you guys are still upright. It's shocking. Hello guys, I am Dr. Sandra Lee, AKA Dr. Pimple Popper and DPP in the house with lights on. <laughs> I mean, not, nobody has really walked up to me in so many words and just came up and said, hey, can you pop my pimple? That would be kind of weird, I think, actually. Even before Dr. Pimple Popper started, I would get people that kind of give me what we call curbside consults, where they want you to look at their mole or look at their rash or something like that. I mean, I've been on a golf course play, playing golf and I've been mid-swing and someone rolls up behind me in a golf cart wanting me to look at their mole. So that happens to all of us dermatologists, not just me. If I were to take my friends um, who've never been to Malaysia here, I would probably take them to like a hawker center, right? Like food stalls at night where you have all these crazy foods and all these sounds and smells and have it be amazing for them. Uh, I mean, cause that's the experience, right? I love laksa, I love kuei tiao, I love uh, chicken rice. I probably love a lot of the staples, satay and things like that. So I'm very excited to be going and having lunch here today and like for the next few days as I'm in Malaysia, I can't wait to have the food. I think I was like probably six or seven and I, we, we went to one of my uh, aunt, auntie's house and I went to the bathroom and I was like, where's the shower? Where's the bathroom? I didn't know there was just a toilet and a sink and then a drain in the floor and a bucket, right? And a ladle. And I'm like, what's the, where, how do you take a shower? I was shocked. Like my mom was like, oh no, you just take a bucket and throw the water over you. And I, I mean, it's great other than, I don't know how you guys walk around with wet feet. Like I can't go into a bathroom when the floor is wet, right? That's gotta be a tough thing. Yeah, you're all nodding. Oh, I know another thing. The last time, and I can't wait to go to, last time I was here, I went to McDonald's and I ordered a hamburger. I said, can I just have a hamburger? And they were looking at me like I was crazy. And I remember what this little, this young person said. She, she's like, uh, we have chicken burger and beef burger, but no hamburger. And I was, oh, okay, I'll have a beef burger. <laughs> so I tell my kids that all the time, like if you go to McDonald's, don't order a hamburger. People know that I'm Asian, I'm Chinese, and uh, I think that it's pretty cool that when I tell them that I am from Malaysia and Singapore, my mom is Malaysian and my dad is Singaporean, and um, I'm really proud of that. I'm, I'm really proud to be here in Malaysia now. This is the first time I've really been back as Dr. Pimple Popper, and so it's just a, uh, it's just really, it, it's really special when I come back here. I just feel like, oh, this is, as you get older, you start to appreciate these things. You guys are too young still, you'll see. You're gonna remember these words and go, wow, you know, she was right. I'm waiting for my kids to say that. But um, I think uh, you start to get a little bit more nostalgic and think about these things. So I'm really happy about it. Skincare trends that are not so good are probably the, I forgot what it's called. It's the, where they use the air gun and they shoot like hyaluronic acid into the lips. People are doing that at home instead of getting, a, if they want to plump up their lips. Um, gosh, so many things. At home, at home skin tag removal systems. Trying to get rid of your cyst using apple cider vinegar, that would be a no. Um, jade rollers, I think they make you feel really good. Do I think that they're gonna do something significant? Not so much. Yeah, I mean, you can, but is it gonna be a little bit more harsh on you? I have a feeling somebody got you to answer this, ask me this question so that you could continue to use shower gel. Yes, my husband, who's a dermatologist, washes his whole body with the shampoo that he uses. So, you know, go figure. You guys, and you guys are still upright. It's shocking. But shower gel's fine. I mean, if it keeps you clean, you feel good, go for it. But if your wife or girlfriend is pissed about that, I didn't say it. Because I'm not, I'm not getting in the middle of that. 
Some people have swear jars at work.、Uh, we have a splash rock, I guess you call it. I mean, it's a rock where you're in a room and you happen to get splashed by a cyst or something, some bodily something gets on you. Then you own the rock for a little bit. You have to sign your name and the date. I also have a scrubs of shame. So, like, if you get things on your scrubs, like the most ridiculous. Scrubs, the most embarrassing scrubs that you could potentially wear, then they have to wear that for the rest of the day. Who would I? It's not that I'm not. I'm totally starstruck by people. I, I probably when I'm starstruck, I don't go up to people and say anything. I'm probably like, oh my gosh, there's. Actually, I saw Justin Bieber at and Haley Bieber. We were all at, at the same hotel in in the Tur in Turks. And、um, gosh, this makes me sound like I like I am like I was. It was after Shark Week. I had just done Shark Week, and I had filmed with them, and I was taking a little breather. And Haley Bieber and Justin Bieber were there with her with their、um, uh, bodyguard. And I happen to know that Selena Gomez is a popaholic. I know they know of me,、um, but I'm a wuss. I'm like everybody's like you gotta go talk to them. Send me a drink, and I'm like, no, I'm not gonna do that because I don't know. I'm super shy. I'm super shy, so I I would not approach people. And I also think it's a LA thing too. When you're in LA, you're sort of like too cool to to sort of a, like a notice that somebody's a real celebrity. You wouldn't like say any, you wouldn't do anything or say anything with them. So you sort of train to do that. I love building things with my hands. So doll houses is just one of the things. If you really want to, you know, get past all this, you'll know that I have built a doll house, but it's not completely finished. I also bought a tufting machine so I could make all these rugs, which I just have the tufting machines and the yarn in my. I have a, a new sewing machine. I have a new serger. I I wanted to create a giant paper mache nose that you could stick your head in, like a, just a giant nose that you could. If some one of you guys can do that for me, I would love that. Okay, just a giant nose that like had a pimple on the end that lit up, and then I could stick my head in the nostril because I think that would be so cool. I just like doing things with my hands. I'm very like. Crafty or try to be crafty. I like to crochet. I like to knit. But I usually do things once, and then I go on to the next thing. And a lot of them are not completely finished. How does your family feel about it? My husband hates it, but he's very happy because I've gone into pimple popping because this was one of those things that I got like obsessed with, and at least it was something that was part of my job, my real job, and I could you know move forward with it as opposed to. Doll houses and tough and rugs and unfinished rugs and things like that. I don't know. I don't know what I would say. My guilty pleasure. I mean, I like to eat like. Oh, okay. I like to eat potato chips in bed, and my husband hates it. He says that my side has stones and pebbles all in my side of the bed because you know I like to eat in my bed. But then I just clean the sheets, so it's okay. I don't even. I mean, I only. Know, I only know bad words in like, because when they're mad at me, like I don't even know what it means. Like ah,、oh, Pisces ah,、oh, like you know, like ah,、oh, right? Like don't want la. I don't know. Like、uh, I know when I was, first came here when I was young and I was with all my cousins, I would add la to everything and it would not work out. Obviously, you know, like Malaysians are very like. Sarcastic and not mean, but like we'll give it to you. You know what I mean? And I like that. I'm like that kind of person too. I can take it and I'm going to give it back to you. But I wish I could do it the Malaysian way. Do your parents say flim instead of film? Get the flim. Like I was like, what? Where does that come from? Where does flim come from? I have another Asian friend that, but she, I think she's Chinese. She and this messes me up to this day. She was saying the speech and she would call guests, but she'd say guesses. And then it starts to make you think of the word, and you're saying that is a weird word. You have to say guests, like it, it gets in my mind, right? Because she would say guesses, and I just so think about that. The best business advice: 
The best advice that I have in terms of my business and taking care of patients has always been from my father, really. You know, to just try to make sure that you really connect with your patients and become their friend and they trust you and you, they put a lot of trust in you and that don't take that lightly. I think for me and building what, what has happened in the last, you know, five, six years is really not saying no to things. I mean, I'm almost scared to say no because I feel like that is a, um, uh, it, it can hurt me in the long run. I feel like I'm willing to do things uh, because that's really what, what got this started. I mean, if I had said no from the very beginning, I would never have gotten this far. I have a message from somebody who wrote me, um, it was just funny because I do not cook. And she wrote me that she was a big fan of mine, um, Sandra Lee, because she she loves me and she loves to watch my videos and, and I'm such a, um, a role model for, for her and other people in the world who love to cook. Because there's another woman, Sandra Lee, who is a, a cook um, on television. And so I framed that and put that in my kitchen because it was like, that is so not me. Like it's so, it's, so it's kind of funny. But I have a lot of fan mail that I get from kids and they draw me pictures and uh, they talk about what they like and what I do. And those are really special. And I certainly have a lot of those framed or put them up on a bulletin board. They're really special to me. So I have a bunch of those. We got Dr. Pibble Popper in the house. If you could say one thing to your Malaysian fans, what would it be? Salamat datang. Ah, oh, is that right? Yes. I, I, chipatla. I know chipatla. Makan. <laughs> we love it. I know kilaba. <laughs> That's about it.